Welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. The second hour of our program, six minutes past the hour. Nancy Pelosi just had a press conference this morning in the Wall Street Journal. Carl Rove, the, the, of course, the Wall Street Journal now owned by Rupert Murdoch, uh, the owner of Fox News and uh, the owner of much of America's media. Carl Rove declared that Nancy Pelosi was, quote, an accomplice to torture, end quote. Now, Rove is at the same time saying this wasn't really torture and it was a really fine program, but nonetheless, that's what he said in this morning's uh, Wall Street Journal. So Nancy Pelosi has come out. Bob Graham just came out also and said that they have been lied to by the CIA. They have been deceived. Pelosi, the CIA briefed me only once on... Well, actually, I don't need to read her whole thing. It's, the bottom line is that she's saying that their timelines are wrong, and Bob Graham came out and said, you know, the dates that the CIA says he met with, they, they met with me, Bob Graham is very OCD. He keeps a calendar. He literally writes down what he ate at every meal every day. And he kept <laughs> such careful diaries that he was able to prove, he, was, he says, hey, you know, you said you would brief me. I was not in those meetings. Now, at the same time, I am looking at this moment at some of the photos at some of the photos that Barack Obama does not want us to see. And uh, Sean, Sean Taylor, hello, Sean Taylor, come in here for a moment. You, you, you've got you've to see these. These are, they were leaked to the, to the Sydney Daily, the Sydney Morning Herald, the Australian newspaper. These are the photos that Barack Obama does not want us to see. What the mic is hot. You're standing here. What is the one thing? This is what I see everywhere. Mm -hmm. That and, and why don't you describe to our listeners? So it's, well, for one thing, you better have a strong stomach if you're going to look at them. And number two, not pleasant. the common denominator is blood. Yep. Here's a guy with blood coming out of his mouth, blood all over his chin, blood from apparently a wound in his chest. Blood here's all a, over the floor. Here's a floor covered with blood. Here's a guy who it looks like his some part of his skin is being pulled back and somebody's got a uh, uh, a hemostat mm -hmm. and it's covered with blood uh, and then here's a guy with bloody holes all over the upper part of his buttocks and the lower part of his back it looks like they're probably cigarette burns uh, or something I don't know but they're they're round they're about uh, half inch in diameter and bleeding this is not waterboarding no this, thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank you very. I, I just wanted somebody to, to, to <laughs> somebody to corroborate. That. I'm looking at these things right now. These, these, some of these photos have been leaked. And in fact, the where I'm looking at them is over at George Washington Two dot Digit Two dot Blogspot dot com. George Wa uh, Washington's blog. And he just picked them up off the Sydney Morning Herald, and he's got a link to the to the old Sydney Morning Herald. And he, that, the, this is why they don't want you to see these pictures, because it will end the debate about torture. If Americans see these pictures, there will be no more debate about whether torture is good or bad or whether it works or not. It will be, oh, my God, we did that. We have to put people in jail. And Obama's protestation, Obama's statement that he, he will not prosecute CIA officers who are involved in this may not be able to stand up to the public pressure that will come when the rest of America sees the pictures that Sean and I were just looking at. 866-987-THOM, our telephone number, and also 503-796-2324. Tina in Los Angeles. Hey, Tina, welcome to the show. Hi, Tom. I really respect you, Professor. I am a listener, and uh, over the past few months, I don't want to take up much time on, on greeting you, though I'd love to, Thank you. but I, I really wanted to share, share some things that, that's been on my mind. One of them, if Obama, the administration, the Republicans and Democrats, if they continue covering up this crime, this is a world crime of torturing extraordinary rendition rendition if they do that they put not only the soldiers who are fighting over the world um in danger they put us the citizens who also travel tom they put us in danger if i go somewhere and i'm kidnapped 
you know, they may torture us. And, and for Obama to sit up there and say that he wants to um, cover this up and we can't stomach it? No, we need to stomach it because it makes America look like a bunch of hypocrites and terrorists. We, Tom, we jail the population of our people. We refuse to educate them. We provide very, very minimal health care, and to uh, except with the exception to those who are wealthy, and they don't want to pass universal health care. And then we have a serious homeless population. Who are we to tell anyone anywhere on the planet what to do? Yeah. We need to get our own house in order. In some ways, Tina, what you're describing is the widespread brutality of the conservative worldview that has seized America over the last 30 years and taken us to these places. I totally agree. Yeah. And I mean, when we, all, it seems as though we're just full of capitalists. You know, we can go to other people's water, and if it means killing people like animals to be able to send our ships all over the world while we're polluting their waters and, and, and destroying and dehumanizing other cultures, so be it. And what does that tell the world about us? Yeah. We just, I mean, it's, it's, I'm, you have no idea. Yeah, you know, you're, you're absolutely right. You're, you, and and your, your point is very well taken. Tina, thank you for the call. Thank you and, so and, much. And, yeah, you're welcome. This is, this is, I mean, this is absolutely the bottom line, is that are we going to walk the walk? Or are, are we just going to talk the talk? Oh, yeah. We don't torture. We're good people. We hold people accountable. We're a nation of laws. Are we just going to, you know, <laughs> just quack, quack, quack? Is that all we're going to do? Roberto in Milwaukee. Hey, Roberto. Hi, Tom. Uh, thanks for being there and doing this stuff. Uh, I'm from the Oak Grove Peace Sigil and the Impeached Judge Bybee Group here in Portland. Cool. Uh, my, I'm concerned about the use of the term war because that's the the way the Bush administration wanted to frame this whole thing in, in Iraq and Afghanistan, right. the war on terror. And, in fact, and these are we, occupations. Yeah, and I think we really need to think of this as an occupation for oil, and also, you know, that uh, the U.S. is occupying a large portion of, of the globe for assets and resource acquisition, as per Chalmers Johnson. Yeah, and that's, that's something that goes back quite a ways and something that we need to be seriously reconsidering. And the last president who tried to do anything about it, although he, you know, and you can condemn some of his other areas in that same realm, but nonetheless, was Jimmy Carter, who tried to, who said, you know, we're after, we are, we will never again consume more foreign oil than we did in 1978. And, and at that time, we were consuming about 21 percent of our oil was foreign oil, and now it's over half, and, and, uh, you know, his, the, the solar panels he put up on the White House were taken down by Ronald Reagan, and, and we know the story since then. But excellent point, Roberto. Thank you. Steve in Chicago. Hey, Steve. Hey, how are you, Tom? Just fine. What's up? I have a question for you. As far as these uh, these pictures that uh, we hear about, um, is, is there a possibility that maybe Obama uh, come, has come out and said, we don't want to release these pictures because it, it'll be damaging to the troops, this and that, with, with maybe knowledge or the thought that they may get leaked anyway and the public would see them? They've already been leaked. Oh, you mean is, is Obama playing chess uh, rather than checkers? Right, exactly. Yeah. I, you know, that's my hope, and, and I mentioned that as the, you know, this kind of second-level theory of what's going on here. But the thing that, that makes me doubt that is that he used the, you know, his, his language when he, when he was talking about this thing. He, he came out and he said basically that this is just, you know, a, a few people involved. And, and that, you know, concerned me uh, tremendously. It's, it's uh, in fact, I think I can... I, it's, it's more or less right around in here in this in this clip. Justify inappropriate action. Rather, it has gone through the re appropriate and regular processes, uh, and uh, the individuals who are involved uh, have been identified, and appropriate actions have been taken. Right. You know the the old bad apples theory. So exactly. you know, if he's going to continue to sell the bad apples theory, I, I don't believe that he's playing chess. I think I think that he just got backed down. I think that okay. uh, I, you know. I think that Dick Cheney won this thing, and right. and, and and I'm uh, sorry to cut you off there. I, I didn't realize you were gonna. Um, but the, I, I think that the the whole point here, for to Dick Cheney's magical mystery media tour, the reason why he's been out there banging on doors on every on any. I mean, he's he's showing up in radio shows in little towns in in South Dakota. You know, the reason why Dick Cheney is doing this, originally I thought he was trying to, trying to pee in the jury pool. He was trying to, trying to set it up so that, 
you know, any jury in the United States would have at least one guy on there who'd say, oh, no, he was right. We needed to torture those guys. Yeah, I'm going to vote for acquittal. And you'd have a hung jury no matter what. Now I'm starting to think that this was a preemptive effort. Cheney is an offense better, you know, uh, uh, the, be the best defense is a good offense. That this was a preemptive effort to prevent the release of these photos. And that Cheney won and Obama lost. Convince me I'm wrong. 16 minutes past the hour.